expression broadcasting you live on YouTube hello boss hello boss <laughs> Yanis is not here MHB and time to shine Yanis is not here hello Akos how are you <laughs> everybody we are trying to build the three pillars in order to be a successful trader we are trying to build a strategy and or a system we are trying to learn and to follow risk management rules and we are trying to understand the big one the psychology hello Miguel and we are in the intermediate module everybody if this is your first time we are talking about multiple time frames Fibonacci crowns and news trading remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not investment or trading advice the webinars are for educational purposes only for homeworks and or questions you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my linkedin contact that being said let's dive into the live charts and we are going to open canada jpy and today we are going to talk about the contrarian fibonacci the rules for trading the contrary and Fibonacci this is the picture I hope you have it already if you don't have it take a screenshot or make a photo with your cell phone okay so this is the picture and Canada JPY monthly chart monthly chart okay some of you were asking passion i have a down fibonacci original one and i don't see why do you have the an up fibonacci original one well this is the answer everybody this is the upper band and this is the lower band and we said when the market hits <coughs> when the market hits one or the other we need to reverse our Fibonacci right okay everybody this is the only reason why I have an up Fibonacci on the monthly and weekly chart it hit the upper band and it's supposed to go up any questions everybody why do I have an up Fibonacci on the monthly and weekly Any questions, Miguel? Time to shine, Akos, MHB. And remember, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. Do you understand why do I have an up Fibonacci original one? Not a down Fibonacci original one. This is the contrarian here. That's edit levels, contrarian. There you go. <clears throat> up original Victor hello Victor says no that's clear okay so let's talk about today the contrarian Fibonacci right so if this is an up Fibonacci original one this is an original Fibonacci oh let me let's do it like this So this is the original Fibonacci. You said it hit the upper band and this is why I have an up Fibonacci, correct? No, not correct. What what did what was the last time the what did the market the last time? Did the market hit the upper band, Miguel, or did the market <coughs> hit the lower band? What the market did last time? What band did the market hit last? Hit the low. 
Yes, time to shine. Do you see Miguel? That the market went already from the yes, the lower band. So you must be up with your Fibonacci, not down. Okay. Head and shoulders. Not on the monthly, no sir. Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders. Right? But not on the monthly. Okay, Miguel, so you should go up. Now let's go back to talk about the rules of trading the edit levels green blue and blue how to trade the contrary Fibonacci you welcome Miguel now we explain to you everybody that trading the contrary Fibonacci is riskier right it's riskier than trading the original Fibonacci why is that because you are going against the overall general trend you are going against the original Fibonacci okay now again we are going to have some challenges identifying at what stage this contrarian Fibonacci appears okay so if this is the case the mark is making higher highs higher lows right make a high and right now is falling like this and it's here this is the market right and of course the market it start retracing right and you want to short the market you want to short the market what do you think everybody I'm not going to give you a straight answer I want you to think what do you think? What do you think? Where should the SL stop loss go on the contrarian Fibonacci? What do you think? There is no right or wrong. Okay if I'm entering short in here or maybe not let's say I'm up in here and now there you go you have a counter trend line break it's going to be black something like this and transparency there you go you have a counter trend line break where should the so this is going to be the short we're going to enter short in here yeah it's just an example not maybe not the perfect one but this is going to be our short rate here short where should the stop loss of the contrarian Fibonacci go what do you think and I'm going to give you a few examples well the stop loss can go above the C of the contrarian okay stop loss number one above the C or above the A of the contrarian Fibonacci or above the B high what do you think where should the stop loss go at the top before trend line break so it's the C and this is going to be what sub C says aquas sub C or sub A right up in here is going to be the sub A sub A and then you have the B B high of the original Fibonacci it's going to be the big high and remember we are telling you trading the contrarian Fibonacci is riskier you are going to have a high technical risk higher than to go with the original one 
Ako says at the top before trend breaks. Miguel says below or above the sub A. Great. What about you? Time to shine. MHB Victor. What do you think? And everybody else. Where should the stop loss go? Victor says sub A. What do you think everybody? what makes sense to you and of course there is a learning curve attached to the Fibonacci's and to trading right okay I'm going to zoom in everybody I'm going to zoom in zoom in the chart as much as I can and let's make this like this okay if not succeed then you will have a bad risk reward ratio sub a everybody before answering if it's sub c sub a look at the blue line what is the blue line telling you? Hello, any sub C because of the, the high risk. Look at the blue line. What is the blue line telling you, everybody? The blue line is the reason that if you are going to lose, and is the reason if you are going to win. And I'm not talking about profits, I'm talking about the stop loss. So when you are trading the contrarian Fibonacci, when you are trading retracements, be aware that be aware that the contrarian Fibonacci is against the original trend, general trend, it's against the original Fibonacci. Okay? And the stop loss of the contrarian Fibonacci doesn't have the same probability than the stop loss of the original one. Miguel says trading the contrarian follows the same step as the original one. Technically speaking, yes, but it depends when you find yourself. It, you have some differences in trading the contrarian. Ako says it will rise don't short it teacher Akos I have a counter trend line break and the market made a lower low why shouldn't I why shouldn't I short the market teacher Akos the market broke my counter trend line and the market did a uh, lower low this line is USD JPY everybody the blue line this is USD JPY in a sense why, sh why shouldn't I go short look at this low here look at the left low so the the low on the right is a lower low and I, I have two sets of lower lows and lower highs. Teacher Akos, why shouldn't I short the market? And I'm not telling you, I'm not saying that you are wrong, I'm just asking you questions. Low, high, lower, low, lower, high, counter, trend line break. Why shouldn't I short the market? Is it still higher, low, higher, high? Well, it's not. It's not a higher, higher, low. You don't have a higher low, Akos. You don't have a higher low. This low, green quadrant, is a lower low. This low, red triangle is a higher low so you don't have higher lows it's a lower low 
sub C is higher than the less swing high on the contrary now I don't you <laughs> I don't understand you anymore sub C is higher than the less swing high on the contrary the sub C is high than the less swing contrary yes you're right but it's still a lower it's still a lower high look in here everybody help Akos out please okay Akos says it's going to rise don't short I said why shouldn't why shouldn't I short I have two lower lows two lower highs the market broke my counter trend line on the back trend line and one more thing now that we're talking about trend lines this is my down trend line here and it's still valid I have a down trend line let's color code in black it's going to be more clear teacher Akos I have a down trend line color code in black the markets making lower lows lower highs it broke the structural low I have a structural lower low why shouldn't I short the market everybody else what do you think should I go short shouldn't I go short okay you will <laughs> no it's not now this is where you this is where you learn Akos don't give up don't give up everybody this is where you learn these webinars are made because of this for you to challenge me and everybody else don't give up with your opinion mm, you are right that is a uh, spatial intelligence okay Akos Victor says yeah short Akos in reality you are right this market is going to rise Victor <laughs> we are here to talk right <clears throat> everybody look at the try to try to yes this is spatial intelligence try to understand the blue line what is the blue line telling you and number two what is the blue line over the Fibonacci telling you or what is the Fibonacci over the blue line telling you when you get this you are going to understand where to put your stop loss on the contrary and Fibonacci because it's not the same or if the Fibonacci is up in here or the contrary and Fibonacci is down here we are going to talk about but this is one of the rules okay the rules for trading the original Fibonacci are simple or below above the C or below above the A where is the most where is the safest place and of course when you put your A your stop loss above or below the A you need to address also structure on what structure you are seeing your up or down original Fibonacci now we are talking about the contrarian which is much 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 riskier because the market can do anything it wants inside the AB boundary <coughs> Miguel says the original Fibonacci will go long to hit the D extension maybe yes so where should the stop loss I'm going to enter the short okay now what is the answer everybody the answer is I don't know what the market is going to do and the answer is the market made a lower low structural I'm still above I mean below the downtrend line and the market broke the counter trend line so why shouldn't I short the market right 
my stop loss will be the B okay great now I'm going to short the market because of everything I said but here is the trick you need to understand what this last price movement is telling you the red one you need to understand what is this red price movement telling you right what is this red price movement telling you everybody is this red price movement telling you that maybe the market is turning up because we have higher highs higher lows or is this red price movement telling you well it doesn't matter because we are still below the downtrend line and we don't have the confirmed C time to shine says confirmed uptrend maybe yes maybe not right higher highs higher lows yes but what is this telling you in the larger scale what is telling you is telling you that the market is going to fall or is telling you the market is going to go up or is telling you that the market is going to fall and maybe go up wait I'm wrong no problem so what you need to understand everybody from this lesson today is that because I'm going to give you the answer if not we're going to waste too much time we have other things to talk about you need to understand that because the retracements are much 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 riskier your stop loss should go above the sub C everybody and not sub A or sub B okay in this case I'm going to repeat in this case in this example because the market is positioned like this your sub your stop loss should go should go above the sub C not sub A because the red line two higher highs two higher lows and as Akos pointed out this high in here second green quadrant is higher to the prior to the left high is higher high so okay I'm going to short the market because of the counter trend line break and because of the downtrend line but still I have a high degree of risk because of the two highs two higher highs and two higher lows so I know that this trade is, is risky but if I'm wrong then I'm going to be stopped out in here as soon as possible okay this is the thinking you need to address okay so to have the stop loss above the sub C or sub A or B all stop losses are great the question is why would you risk that much with the higher degree of risk okay and of course some of you are saying on the other platform passion but the market can reverse yes of course it can reverse if this is the AB boundary you need to understand one thing everybody if this is the AB boundary here the market can do anything it wants can go down can go up can go out of the AB boundary can it reverse go down the market can do anything it wants before it hits the appropriate the extension and in this case you need if you are going to trade the counter the contrarian Fibonacci you need to be aware how to manage your trade where to put your stop loss
Okay, everybody. I know it's difficult to see. Yes, you need spatial intelligence. There is a learning curve attached to this, of course. But you need to be aware that <coughs> this is just an example. If the price movement, if the price swing was different, appeared differently, then you would manage your stop loss in a different way edit contrarian fibo there you go okay what you need to learn that is that the stop loss on the contrarian depends on different things so if this is the case your stop loss should go not it's not it's not ra right or wrong it doesn't matter sub C, sub A, sub B really but if you have a higher risk that the original is going to push up don't wait for the sub A or B put your stop loss above the sub C what you are going to see everybody many 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 times many times you are going to see this the market is going to push down hit the 618 or maybe not move back up to the 118, 127 and push back down lower you are going to see many times sometimes it's going to hit the 618 this is the original one right now this is how the price swing how the market moves inside the AB boundary together with the contrary in Fibonacci many times this is the original AB and then we have the contrarian here somewhere in between trying to make some profits and we are telling you be aware because the contrarian is much riskier so the market is going to push down a little bit in the original one then it's going to reverse, it's going to go out of the AB boundary, hit the 118 or 127 the extension and reverse and go back down. So you're going to have a new set of contrarian Fibonacci trending down. Trading down, trading, trading down. Right? And you are going to enter here and you need to manage your trade because your winner can turn into a loser. Then we can get the conformity when it does that. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. You need to monitor the market. But we are talking about the how to manage, what are the rules of the contrarian Fibonacci today. Okay? So answer it depends on how your contrarian is positioned to effectively manage it this is just an example let's move to the to the other example i'm going to delete most of the things delete 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 this is going to be our entry okay delete lower low lower high okay we have now here a new sequence up and down and we are here right now so we have a new down Fibonacci A to B okay there you go I'm going to delete this one so I'm going to wait for the counter trend line break and it's like this right counter trend line break down trend line still like this black right where should the and sub a is going to be here this is going to be the sub c we are going to enter short in here with the same reasons what about now everybody where should the stop loss go B high sub A sub C 
above the downtrend line what do you think see everybody this sequence right now this contrarian Fibonacci in this second example is totally different now you have four choices where to put your stop loss and you can put your stop loss above the sub C, you can put the stop loss above the downtrend line, you can put your stop loss above the sub A or the sub B. What do you think? And remember, there is no right or wrong. Or it's better to have the stop loss on sub A or B, it's better than to have no stop loss. What do you think? <clears throat> oh, I cannot see your comments. Yes, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. Okay, and the second question is please explain why are you choosing the sub C instead of the downtrend line sub A or B high if you are going to say no the, uh, the downtrend line is better please explain why the, you are choosing the downtrend line instead of the sub C or sub A or B high it's not enough for you just to choose you need to understand why I cannot see your comments. Let me see. I am st still streaming. Yes, I am still streaming. Okay. So, where are we? What was this? Oh, here we are. Okay, and the JPY monthly chart. There you go. Sub C above the downtrend line, sub A, B high. And again, if you want to understand this, I'm going to color code the last price swings with the same color. And I'm going to ask you again try to see the, what is the blue line telling you number one try to see what is the blue line telling you and number two try to understand what is the Fibonacci telling you on the blue line okay Oh, let me see now. Uh, okay, round trend reverse retracement up Fibonacci. Victor says sub A, Eddington says all, but I would take the above trend line or sub C just above the downtrend line. Downtrend line don't enter confirmed C. Sub C is the recent swing high, and because the risk reward ratio you gave the answer before, it's not worth to increase the risk if you trade the contrarian okay so some of you says sub a some of you says sub c some of you says above the downtrend line right now what is the probability that the market is going to change direction question for the beginner traders and that question use also the professional traders at at what point the market is going to show me that the trend has reversed reversed 
this is the question professional traders ask themselves okay if you want to put the stop loss at what point the market is going to show me that the trend has a reverse so I have a conformity yes sir and Victor says because first uptrend is broken we have a big down structure and also we are still in a contrarian fib yes but we have a conformity so at what point the market is going to show me that the trend has reversed is going to show me if it hits my sub C stop loss or it's going to show me when it hits my above downtrend line stop loss or it's going to show me when it's going to hit my sub A stop loss or it's going to show me when it's going to hit my sub my B high stop loss where at what point the market is going to show me as soon as possible everybody except that the trend has reversed at what point what point end of retracement the, we, when we make a higher high Akos, no sir, just a higher high is not going to... So let's divide this, okay? So we can be fair to everybody. Okay, so... Answer number one, green line. The green line is going to be... When the market is going to show you... That the market has... Re that the trend has reversed. Akos says higher high, no sir. Then the market is going to continue, it's going to retrace and hit our above the downtrend line with the pink and then the market is going to move further, hit this one, this is going to be what? Orange and the last one is going to go up in here and hit our B high stop loss and the color code, what's going to be? black okay above the B hit the B no sir no not when chose a higher high above the B no <clears throat> no sir okay everybody reproved <laughs> all the class go back to Dukas copy YouTube webinar page and start watching the lesson number one above the downtrend line yes sir Akos congratulations yes Akos everybody you reproved your class 2019 this is the answer where how are you going to see the change this is structure and the short term trend everybody so where is going the market to show you as soon as possible that we were wrong it's here so it's the pink line yes Nawaf congratulations to you too the pink line everybody and again this is not right or wrong if you put your stop loss above the sub C it's okay above the downtrend line it's okay sub A still okay B high also okay everybody but at what point the market is going to show me as soon as possible that the trend has reversed is here you are looking exactly at the same thing Passion, I hate you. <laughs> I love you too, man. Don't worry. Okay. We are looking exactly at the same thing in here. First high, second high, not second high, ter third high. Time to shine the third high. 
the third high is the answer so this is the first high this is the second high and the third high and there is a comment on the other platform passion can I still put my stop loss above the sub A absolutely yes absolutely yes of course I'm not saying that if you put the stop loss above this the sub A you are wrong or if you put your stop loss above the B high you are wrong I'm not saying this I'm just trying to explain to you everybody how to think and what is the question of a professional trader professional traders always ask this question at what point the market is going to show me as soon as possible that the trend has reversed or that my trade is wrong or that my trade is positioned in the wrong direction and this is where they adjust the risk they move the stop loss you know so you would enter counter and trend line break after the third high going long with a confirmed see what great question what do you think what do you think time to shine great question everybody this is the question for everyone time to shine is asking everybody would you enter the counter trend and break after the third high going long with a confirmed C? Great question, time to shine. Let's make it like this just to separate. Oh, let me clean a few things. Clean up, clean up, clean, 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 clean. So this is the arrow. Therefore, the wider stop loss is always safer. Not in the contrary, not when you go against the trend, Miguel. The wider stop loss is always safer when you go with the trend, with the structure, with the market wave. But it's not safer, at least not always safer, when you go against the trend. Okay, Miguel, but it's a great comment, Miguel, thank you. Everybody, what is your answer? Time to Shine is asking, would you enter in here with the counter trend line break when the market breaks the downtrend line? It's making higher highs, higher lows. It's on the other side of the downtrend line. Broke the counter trend line, sub C is confirmed. I mean the C is confirmed, would you enter this trade? And we are going to open everybody Euro JP Euro Euro GBP Euro GBP daily chart let me see Apple says I would not enter Miguel says I would not trade against the trend Okay, that's a good way to go. I would enter above the B. Akos, if you enter above the B, you have a risk reward problem. Okay, this is Canada JPY monthly chart. And this is the A and this is the B. If you enter above the B, you are going to have a risk reward problem. This is going to be your risk if you put the below the color below the A and this is your reward. Now this is the live market. Miguel says, okay, Roger. Eddington, yes, I would enter the following are it race and when the short and down trend line. Me too. Me too. Time to shine. I would enter this. No problem. Why not? Akos, this is the live market, my friend. 
this is Canada JPY monthly chart if you enter at the B high look at your risk reward not there I mean enter for long yes wouldn't you enter the B high that is break the trend line up oh Ah, at the trend. Okay, great. I thought you were saying that you are going to enter the B high. Okay, my bad, no problem. Okay, everybody, Euro GBP, Euro GBP daily chart and Euro GBP four hour chart. Let's see, four hour chart. What's the time? We have ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Let's draw the original Fibonacci quickly HB don't bother with the colors everybody pink to pink let's see Fibonacci pink goes to pink again and where is it pink goes to pink up in here still right there you go still pink goes to pink where is the last sequence original one this is going to be D yes higher high okay we are here right now Euro GBP for our chart and we have a down Fibonacci original one and we have a contrarian contrarian Fibonacci in here how are we going to trade this where would you put your stop loss everybody you have an opportunity going long in here this was the counter trend and break like this and you had another counter trend line break like this so now this is theory right and this is the live market where okay and let me see counter trend line break counter trend line break and let's make it bigger this time and this is the contrarian Fibonacci so we're going to have in here the sub make it bigger 24 so sub A is going to be down here sub B is going to be up in here sub B is going to be up in here sub C down here somewhere sub C in here right and let me check this Fibonacci let's make it transparent and we have an up trend line just shallow up trend line looks like almost support but it's not it has a small angle transparency there you go again so where would you put your stop please add the long term downtrend line long term down trend line there you go okay everybody where would you put your stop if you are going to trade euro gbp where should your stop loss go should the stop loss go above or below in this case below the sub c or below the uptrend line and we are almost the same place right 
we are almost at the same place with the sub A, sub C, right? There is a little difference between the sub C stop loss, the uptrend line, shallow stop loss, sub A and the uh, uptrend line are almost at the same level, right? But the question is where would you put your stop? Okay, we have one more, let's say higher highs, higher lows, right? Where would you put your stop loss? And what is the question in order to answer correctly to this question? What is, what is the question? Where the market is going to show me as soon as possible that the market change directions? Or should I enter, should I trade the counter the contrarian Fibonacci? You have two questions really to, to ask yourself. Number one, should I enter, should I trade the contrarian Fibonacci? And number two, where should the stop loss go? Where the market is going to tell me as soon as possible that the market change directions, that my trade is wrong, maybe my setup is wrong. What do you think? And remember, there is no right to wrong. Okay, everybody, I'm going to leave you the, with this question in mind. Okay? So this is going to be the homework until Monday. Homework. Homework until Monday. And lies. GBP Euro. Euro GBP. Monthly, weekly, and daily. And come back. Come back with a decision number one should we enter the long trade okay which is going to be the contrarian Fibonacci on the four hour chart and number two where to put the stop loss Okay, everybody, I'm leaving you today with this homework. Analyze Euro GBP, monthly, weekly, daily chart. I'm talking, of course, about the Fibonacci's and come back with a decision. Should we enter the long trade first? Some of you are going to say yes, some of you are going to say no. And long trade on, with the contrarian Fibonacci on the four hour chart. And number two, where to if we are going to enter with the contrarian where to put the stop loss okay everybody happy weekend happy friday see you back on monday stay strong and relax this is fx passion